today I am going to be taking a look at your Instagrams and giving you some feedback and critique so that you know how to improve and increase your growth and engagement on Instagram. Let's get right into it. But just in case this is your first time here, my name is Katie and here on YouTube, I love to share my best tips and advice about social media marketing and entrepreneurship and especially Instagram. A couple of days ago on my Instagram, I posted this photo asking you guys to submit your profile so that I could review them and give you some feedback. And today I'm going to be looking at five different profiles that belong to my YouTube subscribers. And I'm going to let you know what I think. And I'm hoping that everybody watching, even if your profile isn't the one being reviewed, maybe there's something that you can take from it and apply to your own strategy. The first profile I'm going to be looking at is Mercedes M. Smith. Mercedes, what's up girl? I know you've been following me for a while, so let's take a look at your profile and see what we can do to improve it. Before we even dive in, I know that you're super engaged on Instagram, which is awesome. I see your comments all the time. If I look through your photos, I see that you're commenting back to people. So that's an amazing way to start. I'm always talking about how engaging is very important and it's gonna be the backbone to any content strategy. But when I first arrive at your profile, just browsing through your photos and your bio and your highlights, it's a little unclear to me exactly what your niche is and what kind of content I would be getting into when I follow you. Let's dive into the bio for a second. Your name says Mercedes Fashion Lifestyle. That's awesome. If that's going to be your primary content, then I think that that's a really great way to title it. But when I start scrolling through, to me, it's not obvious that the posts are about fashion. I feel like there's captions that are just kind of about your life and general stuff. So I think if you really want to do fashion as your niche, make sure that you really hone into that and have every post related to that in some way. Going deeper into the bio, the lines below say helping people escape from their day. You've got a location listed and you've got DM for PR or business inquiries. Starting at the top again, the helping people escape from their day thing is a really nice sentiment, but to me, it's not exactly obvious still what your niche is. I see fashion, but then looking through your highlights, I see music, polls, memes, funny. So it's kind of all over the place and I, I don't exactly know like, oh, Mercedes, she seems cool. What am I gonna get if I follow her? So I think it's just really, really important to narrow in on that niche and figure out A, what is your value proposition? What can you offer people? And B, who is your ideal audience? Once you have those two pieces together, you'll know exactly what you're offering and who you're offering it to, and then you'll be able to make it crystal clear on your profile. The other note I wanted to make about the bio, um, so I see a lot of people doing this, the DM for business inquiries or email this for business inquiries. I totally get where you're going with this. Like it, it really makes sense to try to monetize your audience. That's kind of what we're all here to do. I always talk about making Instagram into a business, but personally, I kind of think mentioning that in your bio is using up valuable bio real estate for something that is kind of redundant or like obvious. To me, if I was really trying to reach out to you, if I wanted you to do a sponsored post for me, I would just DM you. I don't have to be told to do that. So I think that you might find it more effective to use that line of your bio to say something else, like maybe direct people to a link or tell them a little bit more about exactly what your profile is. If you want some more tips and advice about securing brand deals as a small creator, because I think there's a lot more effective strategies than leaving a note in your bio about it, check out this video that I made about getting brand deals for small YouTubers. It totally also applies to Instagram creators. So check that out. Also, I'm gonna mention a lot of different videos throughout this process of reviewing and just know that at the very end, all of those videos are gonna be in a playlist that I will link in the end card. So you can go ahead and watch all these other resources that are gonna help you implement the advice that I'm talking about in this video. Moving on to the next profile we're gonna be looking at today. It is echo.vintagekw. Thanks so much for submitting your profile, guys. I'm excited to take a look. So as soon as I show up to your profile, the impression I get is very clean, very strong branding, which I love. We see the tree appear in all of your highlight covers and your profile, and there's even a little tree emoji in your bio. So I can tell already this is eco-friendly, this is vintage. And as I scroll down, all of the photos look amazing great background, really good consistency in terms of the imagery. I browse through your highlights and I feel like you do a really good job of telling your brand story. I like I know right away what it is you're doing and what I can get out of it. So I know if I'm interested in purchasing vintage clothing curated by you guys, then I can follow and that's what I'm gonna get. 
The one area where I think that you can definitely grow a lot is engagement and getting a community really excited about what you're posting. And I know this can definitely be a struggle when you are doing something so specific as selling vintage clothing because it kind of feels like, well, if you're interested in purchasing, then you'll follow me. And if you're not interested in purchasing right now, you're not gonna follow. So what I would suggest is creating a content strategy that can serve your target demographic, whether or not they're ready to purchase vintage clothing at this exact moment. And the way you can do that is by creating content outside of just sharing the items that you currently have available in your store. I think it would be so cool if you would create some infographics about textile waste, you know, about fast fashion, maybe creating some quotes or like doodles of clothing with sayings on it. Like there's all kinds of different fun stuff that you could create that would be really shareable. And I think really right now in 2020, one of the best strategies you can do for growing engagement on an account like this is creating shareable content. Because if we look at the photos you have, they're beautiful, they look awesome. But I see the clothing, I'm like, that's really cute. I like that, I decide whether I wanna buy it. There's not really a need for me to share that image or engage with it any further. But if I saw an infographic that was like, here's how many hundreds of gallons of water it takes to you know, produce a new pair of jeans, you can save that by purchasing vintage jeans or whatever you want it to say. That's the kind of thing that I might actually share to my story because it's a message I care about. I want my followers to know about it. And that's really gonna expand your reach in a super organic way and allow your community to get more engaged. And so I think overall, it's making your Instagram account about a message, about an identity and about a mission rather than just about the products that you're selling. And that's really gonna help increase your engagement. If you're interested in learning more about the shareable content piece, I made a video all about the 2020 algorithm. Again, it's gonna be linked in the playlist. And I think that they'll really help clarify things for you. But overall, it's looking awesome. You're doing a great job. Next up for review today is Letter with Lauren Liz. Thanks so much for submitting your profile. So as soon as I arrive at your Instagram, the first thing I think is your branding is on point. So many beautiful bright colors, it all ties together. It's very clear right away that you're an artist, a designer, hand lettering, like you know this visual stuff and it really comes across in your content. Your bio says, I teach brush calligraphy and make YouTube videos. I know right away what I'm getting into and whether or not I'd be interested in following your content. So the bio is very clear, which is great. The biggest suggestion I would have for you is really start diving into your insights and analytics and take a look at what's performing really well and how you can replicate that. As I was scrolling through and looking at the likes and comments your photos have been receiving, which that's all I have access to, so you should dive into your insights to know more about saves and shares, but I can tell that there's definitely certain photos that stand out in terms of how many likes they get compared to others. You've done a number of posts where you've done a like watercolor painting version of a photograph and shown both side by side. Those tend to do really well in terms of likes. Also going further back a little bit, you've got some bullet journal um, photos where it's a bullet journal spread you've designed sitting on a really bright colored background. These are some of the most liked photos on your profile. So I think that it would be very strategic of you to replicate these as often as possible and keep posting them because you're gonna get really high engagement with them. And that doesn't mean that you have to make this every single post, but the more often you do this, the better your engagement is gonna be and the more likely Instagram will be to recommend your other content and show it in the feeds of your followers. I have a video all about analytics that I'm gonna put in the playlist at the end of this video. So you can take a look at that and really learn about how to dive in and analyze your stats. But I think you've got some really amazing content here. Captions and hashtags all look great. And the imagery is, like I said, very, very strong. So I think really the best thing you can do to improve is just look at what has been successful already and try to do more of that. It's really amazing how much analyzing your insights can totally step up your game and just help you grow that much faster. Next up, we are gonna be looking at Tate Wolverson's profile. Thank you so much for submitting. When I get to your profile, I know right away you have a certain aesthetic and I love it. It's very minimal, neutral colors. All of your highlight covers are well designed and they match. It's like that nice black and white and like minimalist icon sort of theme. I can already tell by your bio exactly the kind of posts I'm gonna get. It says, as a plant-loving vegan coffee enthusiast, you'll see posts about fashion, lifestyle, and coffee. 
I know exactly what I'm getting into and I know right off the bat whether or not I wanna follow you. So that's really awesome. You're doing a great job at communicating the content that you're serving. Your images are awesome. As I scroll through, I love that there's a variety of different like focal lengths and composition. The biggest thing that I notice is I feel like a lot of your images have very similar hashtags, which makes a lot of sense like if your images have a similar theme, then you would tag them with similar stuff. But I think that one area where you could really improve is diversifying the hashtags that you use and really make sure that you're focusing on using hashtags that have small amount of posts and hashtags that have more posts. And then also trying to find active communities that have hashtags associated with them. It seems like you're definitely already doing that to a certain extent, but I would encourage you to mix it up a little bit more because if you use the same 30 hashtags on every single post, that's eventually gonna be detected as sort of suspicious activity in the algorithm because it comes across as a bit spammy. So make sure that whatever hashtags you're using, they're relevant to the image, which I think you're already doing, and then get a nice mix that you can switch up every post exactly the hashtags that you're using because I think that is gonna increase your reach. One other thing you could think about doing is trying to write like really eye-catching sort of headlines for your captions. They're very like sort of cool, artsy and moody right now with like an emoji and like a bit of a theme at the beginning that teases it, which is definitely cool. But I wonder if you would get a little bit more engagement if you like really packed a punch with a sort of like headline teaser at the beginning of your caption and then follow up with the rest of the content below the little more button. And then just always making sure that you're replying to all your comments which I definitely can see you're doing that a lot, so that's awesome. But yeah, I think you might find my videos about finding effective hashtags and writing captions that increase engagement useful, so I'm gonna throw those in the playlist as well, so you can all check them out after this video. Overall, really good job, Tate. I love your profile, and um, you're making great content. And the next profile we're gonna take a look at is at so far so social. Thank you for submitting your profile for review. The first thing I noticed when I opened up your profile is that there's some really strong branding going on. I love the yellow and blue colors. It's very consistent, which is awesome. So I right away recognize that these are your posts and it's from the same brand. So that's really good. I love that you are really doubling down on these value packed shareable graphics. A lot of your posts are the kind of thing that somebody could share to their story, which is a really effective strategy. One suggestion that I would have in terms of your content is you probably could post a few more photos of yourself. Like scrolling through, I can definitely see some selfies here and there, which is awesome. But you could work on getting some more sort of like styled, high quality, like almost professional looking photos because for me at least, I always find that those perform the best on my profile and I feel like we have like a similar niche. You definitely don't need to have a professional photographer to do this kind of content though. I have a video all about how to take awesome photos with just your iPhone that I will add to my follow-up playlist as well. So if there was anywhere for you to improve in terms of your content, that would be it. Otherwise, I think that your graphics and your imagery it's all very on brand and a lot of it is super shareable. So that's awesome. Just as a final note, I think you're doing really awesome with the captions. I can tell that you are writing really strong and eye-catching headlines before the little more button and then following it up with valuable content below. So keep that up, that is really awesome. So thank you so much to everybody who submitted your profile for me to critique in this video. I really hope that I gave you helpful feedback. If you were not reviewed in this video, do not worry because you still definitely have a chance to get my feedback on your Instagram profile. I am so excited to be launching a brand new service on my website called the Instagram Audit. If you wanna get feedback from me about your photos, captions, hashtags, your bio, your story, your highlights, all of the important aspects that go into a successful Instagram profile, then you can get that in the form of a screen recorded video where I'm gonna go in depth in your profile, take a look at all that stuff and give you feedback as I see it, as well as a detailed Instagram audit report card where I'm gonna give notes and suggestions and ways you can improve on all of those different aspects. If you wanna check that out, it is available now on my website. You can go to katiesteckley.com slash audit to go straight there. The reviews that I featured in this video are just a small preview of what you can expect from the Instagram audit that you can purchase on my website. Today, I just went through a couple minutes on each profile, but if you get the Instagram audit, you're gonna get a 10 minute full review of me looking over your profile, 
plus the full analysis report card filled with suggestions and ideas about how you can improve your profile. I'm super excited to take a look at your Instagrams and give you the best advice I can. Really, this is just a new format of the consultations that I used to do. I used to offer one-on-one -on -one hour long consultations, but that didn't become viable for me to fit into my schedule anymore. So this is my way of being able to provide you with an Instagram analysis and consultation, but in a format that you can revisit anytime you want. You're gonna have that video for life. You're gonna have that document with all of my analysis and suggestions just in your back pocket so you can check it out anytime you're creating Instagram content. So I'm really hoping that that'll be a super valuable tool for you going forward that you can use to increase your engagement and grow your Instagram and your business. For this initial launch, I'm only offering 25 of these and once they're sold out, they're gonna be gone for now. I probably will relaunch this in another few months, but I don't know exactly when. So if you're interested, I would really encourage you to go and sign up now so you don't miss out. So if you have any questions about the Instagram audit or how it works or what you'll receive, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'll be answering every single comment. You can always DM me on Instagram too if you want more information. And please keep in mind that the prices on my website are in Canadian dollars. So if you are from the US, lucky you, you get a discount because it will be roughly 30% less for you than what it shows on the website. But use an online currency converter to find out exactly what it will cost for you, depending on your local currency. I think that's everything that I want to say. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said before, I have a playlist of all the videos that I mentioned throughout these reviews that I think is gonna be very helpful for everybody whose profile I reviewed, but all of you watching as well, Go follow up by watching these videos because it's gonna elaborate on everything that I talked about today. So make sure you go click on that or go to katiesteckley.com slash audit to get your Instagram review today and I will see you over in this playlist. Okay, bye.